Hello everyone, my name is Avantika, your German language coach and in this video we will be learning accusative case. Before starting, I would like to request you to go and watch part 1. You can find the video in our German playlist on our channel. So let's get started. So by now we already know that nominative in a sentence denotes subject and we already know that a grammatical case helps to build us a comprehensible sentence. In this lesson particularly, we will learn accusative case. It's three articles that we also got to know in nominative case video. One is bestemmed article, unbestemmed article and the last one, a negative article. We will also get to know the importance of verbs and prepositions in this video for accusative case and how it is very useful in German cases. And throughout the video, I will also give you many examples to help you build an understanding what is an accusative case. So let's begin with the definition of accusative case. So what is a Accusative case. It is used to indicate the direct object of a verb that is a person or a thing. The person or a thing is directly affected by the action of a verb. And because in comparison to German, in English we have a word order. A word order indicates the subject or object in English, but in German, the meaning of a sentence, it is derived from the case. For example, we have here, das Kind sieht Einer Blume. Das Kind sieht einer Blume. Einer Blume will be the accusative object. Das Kind will be the subject. And sieht will be the verb. So this verb is indicating the accusative object. Now, if you may ask, what are the question words? We fraga. For accusative case, we have two question words just like nominative. First is called when, whom. The second word is called was, which means what. Now we have some examples here to understand Wefraga and how we can build this in a sentence with a word order. When Zeets do whom are you watching or seeing? Ish Zeha Dain Hunt. Or we have Wen Bezuks do Ish. Besuka minor gross elton. Is the other hund? I see the dog. I visit my grandparents. So to build a wefraga, it is important that we take the wefraga word. It can be vain or davas on first position. Then our verb. Like we have zeest here and besuchst. So zeest that comes from zeen and besuchst that comes from besuchen. And at last our extra information or a pronoun. And not English, amenda, a question mark. Now wefraga are used to ask the direct object of the action. Here the direct object is minor gross alter. Same for the first example, Dane Hunt. The subject will be ish and the verb is naturally 
Zehan and Bezukhan. We also have a sentence with was. Was marked the frau. We are asking directly what the lady is doing, what the woman is doing. We can answer it like this. Z shout I nen film. So Z here will be our subject which is written with a pronoun. Shaw and a verb which means to watch. I nen film are accusative object. Now, this was Vefraga and the whole definition of accusative casus. Now, we will learn the three articles of accusative. That is bestimmed article, unbestimmed article and negative article. If you remember the articles of nominative, it will be even easier for you to learn articles of accusative. First off, we have day in here. And if you notice throughout the video, only the masculine, the geschlecht masculine changes. So it is a very important hint to only emphasize on learning masculine articles in order to learn accusative articles. Then for female bestimmed article, we have again the, then for neutrum das, for plural the again. Now for unbestimmed article, we will follow the same ending that is en. We will write einen for feminine, eine, neutrum, ein, rural, nothing because it does not exist here. Now for negative article, which follows the same pattern as unbestimmt article, we have keinen for masculine, then Kaina, Kain, and Amanda for plural, Kaina again. Now we will look at some examples to understand how a sentence will be made with these three articles. Er schreibt einen Brief. He is writing a letter. Er is our pronoun. Schreiben are verb and in brief are accusative object. This was the example for unbestimmt article. For negative article, we have Ich habe keine Anu. Ich habe keine Anu. This is a very important expression to use in daily German. It means I have no idea. Here ish will be our pronoun. Haban verb. Kaina anu. Accusative object. For bestimmt article, we have an example here. Wir kaufen den Tisch. Because the article of Tisch is der Tisch. In accusative, we will say den Tisch because it will be converted due to the fact that there is a accusative verb. Wir will be our subject or pronoun, Kaufen our verb, den Tisch our accusative object. Talking about verbs, so verbs are very important in German. We have a hierarchy which means we have genitive verbs, then we have nominative verbs, then we have dative verbs and the most verbs are found in accusative case. It is important for a verb in German to tell the meaning of the whole sentence. That's why they are very important. Now talking about verbs, we have certain accusative verbs that can be found throughout the video with examples like Bezukan, Zayan and we have some more examples like Finden to find or we can also ask in a question like we Finders do then film etc. Second example we have here Huren 
which means to listen or to hear. Then we have a very simple verb, zingen, to say. Trinken, to drink. And lastly, vergessen and lesen. Vergessen means to forget. Lesen means to read. So these were your A1 accusative verbs, but it is highly advised that throughout the span of your learning, you must write more accusative verbs because their quantity is quite a lot in German. This was all about the verbs. Now let's learn some prepositions. To learn prepositions, we have a mnemonic here. F for fewer, U for um, D for durch, G for gegen, E for entlang, B for bis, and lastly, O for owner. These five prepositions are generally used in A1.2. So for bigness, I will give examples from these two prepositions. For fewer, we have ish, kaufa, ein, geschenk. Fewer, meinen, bruder. For um we have ich, laufe, um, den, park. If you notice, um changes the article for park, which is their park, into den. So, Dane Park will be our accusative object. Same with fewer. Fewer changes my brooder to mine and brooder. So this was all about the prepositions. Let's do a short recap of the whole lesson. In this video, we got to know what is accusative casus, its article like Dane, the, das, the. For unbestimmte article, einen, ein, einer. For negative article, keinen, keiner, kein, keiner. And we also got to know how an accusative verb is important for a sentence, as well as some prepositions that we got to know through a mnemonic, Fajbo, where F is for fewer, U for um, D for durch, G for gegen, E for entlang, B for bis, and O for owner. We also got to know a lot of examples that I would request you to rewind back and also write them down. That's all for today. If you found this video informative, please give this video a like as well as share your queries via comments and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Hello, guten Tag and welcome in Suruk. My name is Avantika, your German language teacher. And in this video, we will be learning how to identify German nouns, especially how to make them by categorization and how to identify their gender. So without further delay, let's continue. So the goals for today's videos are as follows. First of all, we will learn what are German nouns, how they are different from English, the speciality, how to identify gender in a German noun and ways of making a noun by categorization. On the go, we will also learn some examples of a particular word with their gender and also, at last, concluding remarks and yes, bonus tips. Now let's talk about German nouns. So German noun have a lot of unique features in comparison to English nouns. First will be its grammatical gender system. We have three gender here, masculine, feminine and neutral. 
and then we also have court cases where german nouns actually undergo inflection we have nominative accusative dative and genitive you can also review two of the cases nominative and accusative from our videos that can be found in the german playlist on our channel and lastly we have this rule here that german nouns are always capitalized like we have a noun frau frau will be written like this the frau with a capital f now let's move forward and learn certain ways of identifying german nouns and making them so our first category is suffixes or nachsilben nachsilben is what we call suffixes in german first of all we will talk about masculine so 60% of these three endings are masculine for example for en ending we have their garden for er ending we have their zettel a zettel is a note a garden is a garden for er we have their teller a teller is a plate now talking about no exceptions meaning these three are totally masculine for ing we have their ring another example can be there like their fruling for ig we have their kyonish for ich we have their tepish a ring is a ring their kyonish will be the king and their tepish will be a carpet now with these endings we have exceptions meaning sometimes they can be neutral sometimes they can be feminine for example we have their elephant their motor for us we have their campus and then we have ast ending for which we have their durst which means thirst now let's talk about feminine all the german nouns ending with e are feminine nomen for e we have example like the lampa or the bluma the lampa would be the lamp and the bluma would be the flower for height we have the frei height which means the freedom for kite we have muglish kite the muglish kite for shaft we have the front shaft front shaft would be the friendship the muglish kite would be the opportunity and for ung which is quite common in german we have the minum now with these endings we have exceptions like for e we have something like thus and uh, or their younger for you are we have the natuva which means the nature for ik we have the music or the logic which means the logic music is naturally music for i o n we have the ending we have the noun the emotion and for a we have the noun the camera or the shrasa a shrasa would be street a street name or the camera would be naturally the camera here the end would be the end their yunga would be the young these were the feminine nouns now talking about neutral 70% of nouns ending with n i s n s a l are neutral like thus er gebnis the result 
दस सिग्नल द सिग्नल नाउ स्टार्टिंग विथ जी ई लाइक दस की हाइमनेस फॉरन लोन वर्ड्स लाइक एंगोजमो द सिंगोजमो विच इज अ लोन वर्ड फ्रॉम फ्रेंच देन वी हैव एक्सेप्शंस लाइक मेंट इश्ट इट और आई एल फॉर मेंट वी हैव मेडिकमेंट मेडिकमेंट दस मेडिकमेंट यू ऑल्सो हैव दस एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर इश्ट वी हैव दस गिव इश्ट विच मीन्स वेट फॉर आई टी वी हैव दस क्रेडिट With no exceptions, we have das bet, very common in German, and these two are diminutive forms, which is used for endearment. Suppose we want to say a bear, then we can say a bearchen, a bearchen, which would mean a little bear or something. We are calling somebody as a nickname. Also with line, we have frau line. In terms of royalty, we can say a madame, etc. And these were about Northrum Neumann. Now let's talk about noun groups. First of all, masculine is every time something revolving around days, months, seasons. But yes, there are Ausnamen. or exceptions like we say the nacht and not their nacht we also have animal groups each animal have their own gender so do not forget to learn these we also got to know that the article for elephant is their elephant so keep that in mind for cars usually we have they are suppose bmw etc with also currencies but obviously some currencies are not always masculine like we have mark mark is the mark directions are also given with their masculine nomen and also most tricks but remember there are always exceptions so learn carefully now with feminine numerous used as nouns like the erste the first this would be d the, always there are also feminine animals and also all the natural elements like flowers fruits trees are mostly d for animals you can learn like the giraffe now with neutral all the alphabet letters are neutral music notes are neutral most continents are neutral but obviously there are exceptions like der schweiz etc for countries and there are side provinces that are also neutral we also have a category like languages thus deutsch thus english or we have color like this blau we have gerunds all the unknown names of hotel cafes restaurants movie theaters young persons name and baby names baby animals names that we also use with diminutives like fraulein mädchen or we also have bärchen it's a term of endearment and then if we move forward we have this category called nouns from verbs now with this category we can learn how to make nouns from verbs first i would be making a noun from verb like essen essen means to eat but we can make this essen with e capital and thus article and it will be called the food same with other verbs but yes some verbs have same word stem but not 
every time the ending and different articles for example the fraga the fraga comes from the verb fragen which means to ask and if we want to say the questions we would say the fraga with f capital when talking about modified words which means the word stem is not similar it is very different we have an example like thus angebot which means the offer but when talking about its verb it comes from unbeaten which means to offer but the whole word stem is different same with its different type of article there are obviously a lot of examples like the upward or their umzuk with second type of noun we also have other examples like their unroof their shlaf etc and this is how we make three different type of nouns now this is from verb now we also have a different category which is noun from adjectives first would be by adding h e i t hide or k i e t kite as a suffix with each word like we have this word called gesund which means healthy but we can change this adjective into a noun by adding hide like gesund hide which means health and that is a noun the gesund hide and there is also an example for kite which is pünktlich kite when talking about such adjective it's called pünktlich same with words with e at end now we can also make a noun like we have the word good but we can add an e to it and that would be gutter we also have another example like alt which means old but when we have to make a adjective we can say the alt which means the old so by adding lish we actually make a adjective and we can obviously make it a noun like we have an example here anxious means here anxious anxious and we can convert into the angst these are some ways of making adjective into noun or noun to adjective with the fourth category we focus on international words and these are divided on the basis of their pronunciation we have totally germanized pronunciations pronunciations with a hint of german sound and english like pronunciation for example we have das glass for second type we have an example of of their student which means a student and for totally germanized pronunciation we have an example of the station if we notice the pronunciation it is totally different from the english station we also have another example like the information and with that we almost come to an end and we will discuss about the bonus tips that we were talking about at the intro of the video that is firstly word family so when remembering a gender or a noun it is very important to learn with its word family for example we have a word called house which means the house and its word family includes like the hauser which is plural and it means houses the hausen which is obviously a diminutive which means a small house the hausfrau for feminine the hausarbeit for house chores their hausmeister for masculine and that's how you can learn a lot of words with its word family there is also this tip called linking pictures with words so so when learning words you can make a picture in your head like or bed i will imagine a bed and since bed is das bed i will imagine it with like das matchen or something like that so that i can remember or link up in my head that yeah a bed is das bed same with 
learning fixed articles like in the starting we also got to know that some things like nature or uh, environmental elements are either feminine or masculine we can remember the articles very effectively and there are some fixed articles as well like the frau their man that's mechen their yung etc and lastly make a list of exceptions the more you will learn about exceptions the more you can remember those and it is required for not making a mistake so that was all for today i hope you liked this video and when you found this video informative please give it a like a share and please subscribe by tapping on the subscribe button and also pressing the bell icon also comment down below your queries related to german nouns and have a nice day we will meet with a new video ciao hello everyone my name is avantika your german language tutor and in this lesson we will be learning how to count numbers in german so without further ado let's continue so our goals for today's videos are as follows firstly i'll give you an introduction to the numbers in german also we will get to know what is a cardinal salen and ordinal salen as well as counting in both the number systems and at the end we will also have a summary and revision of what we learned today so let's continue with our first topic that is the introduction to numbers in german so firstly just like every other language in german numbers are a essential part of our everyday communication we count objects we tell time we also tell telephone numbers dates addresses etc and we do that with the use of two types of numbers cardinal salen or ordinal salen for example to count or to quantify we use cardinal salen like zwei apfel which means two apples we can also say it with using an ordinal salen like the second apple like there's white apple we also tell time like as its y word with cardinal salen or as is fünf sein nach drei ordinal salen are actually used with minutes and other quantities like one fourth of something one third of something we also use them for telling telephone numbers dates and addresses cardinal numbers in general are used for telephone numbers like meine telephone number is 0123456 or we can also say ich lebe um as the straße for addresses we use ordinal salen for dates like 1st of november or 1st of something and talking about cardinal salen these are generally used to count objects and express quantities that we will also learn in our second part of the video and also about ordinal numbers cardinal numbers are such as 1 2 3 and so on that that you already must have noticed here and as well ordinal numbers are as the like first second third and so forth So first of all we are talking about cardinal salen cardinal numbers or cardinal salen are used in various contexts to quantify or enumerate objects like how many objects are there how many entities are there or how many quantities are there first of all we have counting objects cardinal numbers are used to count numbers of objects in a group for example she has 3 cats which means z Hat. Now we will write here drei Katzen. Katzen, which is the plural form, drei, which is a cardinal number. And to measure quantities, like when telling somebody a measurement or a numerical quantity, like kilogram, pounds, etc., we would say an example like this: the baby weighs six pounds. Thus, baby, the word for weighs is. Weight. 
vegan wheat z font now for numerical operations such as in mathematical operations like addition subtraction multiplication or division we have an example like this when z dry apple happen when you have three apples un z s in eins you eat one then we feel we feel as in ubrish that's how we say that and for enumerating elements such as water sky or like seasons we have an example like there are four seasons in a year spring summer autumn and winter as kept fear yar zaitun ruling zoma haps on winter so this is our cardinal salen so now we will talk about ordinal salen so ordinal salen or ordinal numbers in german are used to indicate the order sequence or a position of an item in a list series or hierarchy like here he won the gold medal in the first place we are enumerating the ranks or a position in the sentence and in german we would say something like this er hat das gold medal gold medal als aster gewonnen he won the gold medal in the first place now to describe order in time we have this example today is the 3rd of april that we say like this heute is der dritte april heute is the dritte april in this we can say that it denotes the chronological order of events days or months now with this we are naming parts of a whole we label parts of a whole components in a series like this she lives on the fourth floor of the building z won't im fearten stock which means the floor this gebäudes which is indicating that we are labeling parts of a whole parts of a whole means fourth floor of a building now here we are organizing hierarchies like the ceo is the first in chain of command we are saying that ordinal numbers are employed to organize hierarchical structures unlike cardinal numbers our example here is there say a o is there arista in der befels kette so we are seeing here the hierarchy that the ceo is the first in the chain of command now for listing steps of procedures that we see in recipes or cookbooks we are giving this example step 1 gather the ingredients as to shut up these are taten the ingredients these are taten zamlen to collect or to gather we are enumerating the steps or procedure in a process in a cookbook or a recipe now let's move forward and learn how to count in both of these number systems firstly we are going to learn how to count in cardinal salen so first of we have eins eins zwei drei vier fünf sechs sieben and please pay attention to its e n ending then we have acht neun zehn another important number elf zwölf now with 13 and ongoing numbers we are going to use this hack that is we will take this number and then we will add sein to it like drei sein vier sein fünf sein sechs sein sieben sein without the en ending acht sein neun sein and then we have Swansish. Moving forward, we have twenty here, 
and we will be learning how to count from 20 and so forth. Then we have this hack here. I plus the connector und plus swan session. So this I here is 1 to 9. Then our connector. Then this entity which is greater numbers like fierce-ish, fimse-ish, zex-ish, zeep-ish, ark-ish or noise-ish. And while writing or learning these bigger entities, we are going to use a suffix called sish. It is there with 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, and 90th. Like fierce-ish, fimse-ish, zex-ish, zeep-ish without the en ending, ark-ish, and Noinsish. Moving on with 20th and so forth, we are going to use this logic like 21st Ainun Swansish, then Zwaiun Swansish, Dryun Swansish, Fear Un Swansish, Fünf und Swansish, Zex Un Swansish, Sieben Un Swansish. Here we are using Sieben, and then we have Acht Un. Swansish and Neuron Swansish. If you pay attention to 38, it is an exception. Then we will write S it here, not the Z, and we would say Dreisish. Moving on, we have Cardinal Salen. So here, from 1 to 19, we are going to use this TE ending, and these can also be declined. So this can be there as the or the ersta or thus erstis depending on which noun it is coming with and it is also important to notice here that eins is now erster drei is now dritta and then we have some spelling changes that we will also see in this list we have erster now zweiter dritta vierte fünfte sechster Zeepta without the en ending, Achter, Neunter, Sainter, Elfter, Zwifter. And then we are using the same logic using these smaller entities with Sain. And then the ending TE. Tri Sainter, Fear Sainter, Fim Sainter, Zex Sainter, Zeep Sainter. Act center and then noin center. Now we are learning 20 and so forth with the ending STE. We have here Zwanzigster. So this is our STE ending that we are also following with the bigger entities like Fierzigster, Fimzigster, Zexister, Zeepsigster, Actsigster. And if when we are learning this, then we will learn with the same hack that was using a smaller number connector and a bigger entity. Now 21 would be ein und 20. Zwei und 20. Drei und 20. Vier und 20. Fünf und 20. Sechs und 20. Sieben und zwanzigster, acht und zwanzigster, neun und zwanzigster, and then again our Ausnahmen, our exception, dreisigster. Now we have bigger quantities, and we are starting with ordinal salen, that is hundred for hundertsta, again is de ending, thousandsta, same thousandsta. Hundred thousandster, millionster, milliardenster, and then billionenster. For cardinal numbers, we have ein hundred or hundred, ein thousand, same thousand, ein hundred thousand, ein a million or millionen, ein a milliarda or billion. Now this is how we denote some important quantities in German like saying null comma null 0, 0.0 or null comma ein 0 0.1 null comma ein zwei which is 0 
0.12, ein halb, which is one half, ein drittel, which is one third, ein viertel, which is one fourth, ein fünftel, one fifth, ein sechstel, which is one sixth, drei viertel, which is three quarters, thus percent or percentization, which is our percentage, like fifth is percent, fifty percent. With that, we are almost at the end. We got to know what are German numbers and what are cardinal numbers or ordinal numbers. Cardinal numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ordinal numbers such as 1, 2nd, 3rd, 4, 6, 7, 8. We also got to know how to count them, which prefix to use, etc. And yes, some bonus tip at the end. So yeah, that was the video. If you found this video informative, please give this video a like, comment down below your queries as well as share this video as much as possible and yes, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, cheers!